Hi, Spencer. I'm Dr. Losazo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I thought maybe we'd review a little bit about um, what brings you here and review a little bit about your history. Uh, I know you have a pectus excavatum carinatum mixed deformity, which is a very unusual form of pectus. And so it's important for us to discuss that a little bit more in detail. It kind of comes at weird times. Mm -hmm. It's not all the time, but sometimes I'll just, I'll, I like to surf a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'll just run really fast up the beach or something and I'll jump on my board. All of a sudden I'll just kind of get this sharp pain mm -hmm. in my chest. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'll just go away and I just won't feel it. Yeah, it just depends. And that's not uncommon, especially with uh, people with mixed deformities that involve carinatum or actually have a pure carinatum defect, which is when your chest protrudes. As that grows, it, it's been my experience for patients that have, I've talked to over the years that they, f they feel a stretch and a, and a, and a deep discomfort, uh, especially around the time that they're, that they're going through their growth spurts. And of course, it's very uncomfortable to lie prone or face down on the part of your chest that protrudes. Do you find that, especially when you're on your board? Do you yeah, find that? that? That explains it. It when it happens, that is that's what happens. Yeah, it's yeah. a very it's a very very common complaint. I mean, we live in Southern California. A lot of young men and women enjoy surfing, and that hard surface of the surfboard against the protruding chest is, is very, very uncomfortable and produces a lot of pain for most people. And so the challenge for me as the surgeon will be to bend the bar, the nuss bar, in a way that optimizes your result uh, on the side of excavatum and doesn't augment the carinatum on the opposite side. Okay? okay? Yeah. That's, That's a good. pretty exciting, huh? Yeah. Okay, well listen, let's take a look at your chest because I want to show you a little bit about what the operation will entail um, and point out some things that are unique to your chest. Okay. Okay, okay Spence, well here's your chest wall and as you can see it's, it's different from side to side as we yeah. talked about. This side is prominent, this side is not. And right in the middle, there is the deep sunken deformity. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna need to do is adjust your chest in a way that the center portion and the left side moves forward without accenting this side any further. And of course, that's where the art of it all comes into place and the bending of the bar. This operation uniformly, when done, corrects the problem permanently. Okay, so there's no worry when the bar comes out that, uh, that your chest will again sink and, and I can assure you that that won't happen. Okay. okay, I'm looking forward to beginning the journey together. I know we're gonna be operating later this month. If you have any questions between now and then or your parents have any questions, you, you please feel free to give me a call and we'll answer those. And then the next time I see you, it'll be on the morning of surgery. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll be nice and relaxed and confident that everything's gonna go well. Okay, okay? we're gonna take good care of you and it'll be, uh, it'll be a wonderful experience for both of us. Okay? okay? Well, I'll be excited to see the result. I know you will, I know you yeah, will. Thank you. You bet, thanks. Thanks for coming. Dead free Can't believe it Is it Really me I'm so happy to be